I love the voices in this, especially the narrator. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Duna's beard. Loha. My b boss Loha will want to know what happened to them, but I, I can't remember. Good. This game could. I should make a versus between this and Pillars of Eternity now that I think about it. And there's two games of those too, so they would fit. There were other Divinity games, but I don't think those fit the same as this series does. This part of the Divinity series, if it's the same part. If it's the same series altogether. Ask me what she was doing here. The boss, this boss Lohar. Raise an eyebrow, surely she can remember what happened to the sorcerers. Assure her that she's safe now. She I'll flinches at that. the slightest rustle of wind through the long grass. Terror in her eyes, she stumbles away from you. Okay. I don't know what that was all about. What did I just pick up? Oh, great. Now I'm gonna have to throw that away. Ooh! Holy crud, and some blue boots. Nice. Another boots. Maybe... Uh, oh, it's an arm. <laughs> stuff in my inventory. Oh yeah, it must be one of these. Okay, where is the weird arm that I picked up? Okay. I wanna drop these. Promising, does it? Ma, can you Makes hear me? my bones itch. The little boy lobs a stone across the river. It makes a long arc before plunging into the water below. Oh, Ma, are you all right? Ma, huh? Please, you have to help her. Okay. There was a, a fight. Some dwarves attacked some magisters and there were sorcerers too. And, and then the boats came. Those 
avoid things. They killed everyone. And my mom got home to chase her. And she went across the bridge. And then she raised the bridge and... And, and she told me to run. And now she's stuck over there with them. Okay. I'm not trying to stop <clears throat> them. Just distract them. When they finish whatever they're eating over there, I don't want them to start looking for Ma. She's in our house. But I bet that you, you... You will? Yes. Maybe... Maybe you can cross the river then. Ma lifted... Yeah. Yeah. You'll make one. And I'll... I'll... His gaze shoots to the ground. He grabs a small, flat pebble and chucks it across the river. Again, it lands in the water below, well before reaching the other side of the cliffs. I'll keep distracting him! He performs a divine order salute. Now go out, Ma! Oh. Okay. Where have I not been around here? I certainly can't cross using that way. There must be another way. Another way around. Let us go. I mean, go. I should probably get a drink in just a bit. I'm thirsty. Mm, thirsty. Thanks for the creepy music. A Magister guard approaches. Behind her, on the gallows, two lizards. One in a Magister uniform hangs dead from her neck. The other hangs from her hands, still alive. I'll see the other one. Step away from the prisoner, reptile! Ask who the half-living prisoner is and why she's hanging by her hands. Tell her you're going, you're going to set the prisoner free. She'd be wise to look the other way. Ask about the dead lizard magister hanging. She's hanging by her hands because the boss don't want her dead just yet. She's a tough one, Meister Seaver. She's Tell a seeker and she's a bloody traitor. Seekers. Ask what crime so so low or so high. She was part of the order. You, Alexander, personally. Alexander trusted her. At least as far as you can trust a, you know, one of you. Anyway, hey. to repay that trust, the Meister gave Alexander up to his enemies. She wasn't Racist. there when Alexander <laughs> fell, but White Magister Raymond uncovered the truth. She's as guilty as any of them, and I reckon she got off lightly. I'd have had her flayed alive with a salted bullwhip. Yuki? You're going to... what, now? She betrayed Alexander. I'd sooner die than free her. Tell her you can see she has a heart. She should listen to it. Trust you. Let's tell her White Magister Raymond sent you to bring the prisoner back to town. 
ask if she knows who killed Alexander. Point at yourself. What? Offer her a token sum to look the other way. You insult me. Why, I, I wouldn't do it for an entire bag of gold coins. All right then, done, but be quick about it. You just did it for an entire bag of gold coins. I, I honestly don't care about the money right now, because I can get more. The lizard hangs from the gibbet, her face blooded and her scales discolored. Her eyes are closed, but her tongue flickers as you approach. Welcome to Driftwood, Godwoken. One bloody eye cracks open, glittering gold appearing from beneath the swollen lid. Chased... <laughs> Chased you all the way here from Fort Joy, did they? Very well then, cut me down. There is work to be done. Or indeed you could stand there gawping as if you were a cow ordered to dance a reel. This is a masterful performance. I would applaud it, but well. The Meister bears her teeth, stained a deep pink by her blood, and growls. Malady is unfortunately mistaken. I cannot train you, but I can certainly help you on your path. As long as I am free of this rope. The lizard grimaces, shifting awkwardly as she dangles. I am in intense pain, Kin. You are either insufferably cruel or insufferably stupid. Okay. Be quick about it. Who knows when that magistrate might return? God's teeth, it feels good to move again. Now, come on. See, that one's not... Oh, it is. They are hanging. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell. So we'll follow. We'll follow. Oops. I could use a fishing rod. The Meister sits slumped in a chair. Damnable red cloak baboons ransacking my that. wardrobe. Skip that. As if I were keeping valuable secrets in a oh, pile with my unmentionable. Have it now. <laughs> when playing to um, Sekiro, trying to get that back on she track with some recordings. And with a twist, a click, and a screech of pain. She it's been a while, and I'm sorry that I'm holding it off so long. But I'm hoping the content <laughs> I am bringing is <laughs> serviceable and at best if we as did well not have more as able to, to, uh, to satisfy anybody's needs for other content other than Sekiro all the time. Reaching I will across want the table, to get to she Metro pulls a bowl at some of point. hot water towards her and fishes some bandages, a needle and thread out of a box. She slowly starts to tend to her wounds. At least the barbarians were unable to club their way into my vault, so everything you need should be safe. In your case, more than I suspect, man, god or even reptile can provide. However, may my soldier on. It is not enough to be godwoken in order to ascend to divinity. There is a process. As she speaks, the Meister uncorks a vial of shimmering liquid, sauce. She lets a couple of drops fall on her hand. But instead of infusing with her body, they quickly evaporate on her scales. She stares at the empty spot on her palm for a long moment before turning back to you, continuing as if nothing had happened. A process by which Godwoken may ascend. It begins with discovering your deepest self, 
delving into your own soul. Enthusiasm? On a weekday? My word. We shall begin once we have <laughs> the tools we need from my vault. You may have been chosen, Godwoken, but becoming divine requires more than a supernatural pat on the head. Come, Godwoken. It is time to see just how awake you are. Okay. Fortunately, the Magisters pay as much attention to art as they do to fashion. Kindly remove that painting from the wall. Wait, where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. go to the vault and enter the combination. I shall call it out as you go. The vault. Did that open exactly? Is that this? Yes. A stone door lies flush with the floorboards. Etched whirls in the granite frame a delicate rotary dial. Gleaming under the dim light, the taking your time, you carefully enter the combination. The metallic sounds of the tumblers falling within the mechanism let you know you entered the code correctly. Excellent. Follow me. Your time is at hand. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. is examining her wounds, prodding at this, wincing at that. Her face seems grim as she turns to you. Do you know what it means to have the power of the divine, Godwoken? Responsibility to others. Say that it means having the power to make the world a better place. God would seem closer to this, but it might. Not and you, this. in your infinite wisdom, would know what is better. You would judge your enemies without prejudice and make decisions that could hurt your own for the greater good. I don't have prejudice against anyone, so why would I? <laughs> no. Becoming the divine means taking on the power of all the gods and the responsibility for all the races. Ah. That doesn't feel very clarified. It just says to others. Yeah, I did say that that would be the other, well, that that was the most likely, but I went with that one anyways. <laughs> the divine was created by the gods to shelter us from the void. It's true, the inf her point enough with the infinite wisdom. I do not have the wisdom of the god woken. The and divine I did can not play this in a while. <laughs> Oops, sorry for the mic. I swear the stinking mic picks up your breath like crazy. It did for my Red Dead series. Actually, adjust it. There we go. Hopefully that's good enough. Hold up your hand. Surely you can use some power for yourself. Ah, do you understand? Very well, then. Let's see if we can't snatch divinity from the jaws of the void. Okay. The ritual itself is quite simple. Drop some black root in the bowl, mix in a little blood, set the concoction aflame, and then inhale the smoke. Okay, the 
ritual. It's self quite simple. Black root in the bowl. Mix a little blood. Set the concoction aflame. Ignore any feelings of dizziness, burning in your lungs, or a dire sense of existential dread. They're all perfectly normal. Although you will need to sacrifice a little sauce along the way. Everything you need is here. Ingredients in the cupboard. Sauce in the glowing fountain. Ritual in the tome by the bookcase. Even an incinerator to provide a flame. Let's see. Ingredients cupboard. Glowing fountain. And bookcase. Fountain. The Meister looks back at her wounds, curiously prodding them as fresh blood oozes out, staining her. Quite. Mind you, being torn asunder by a void woken would be even more inconvenient. So if you wouldn't mind. The Meister okay. points sharply to the ingredients covered. And do not lose anything. These ingredients are rare indeed. I'm not hiking back out of the cloisterwood to fetch you more black root. Where's the cupboard? Like trying to look around. So she was talking. Energy, energy chest. Let's take one of those. Love the music. This must no, this is a campfire. I'm an idiot. We got a cupboard here. Let's just take everything, why not? Opening the door, you see a selection of ingredients thrown together in no particular. After a quick rummage, you spot the black root. That you gather up the black root. Of we got it. Shut up. <laughs> Trying to just find the incinerator and such. And to maybe I have to combine in the stove. Okay. Ah, I got the ritual bowl. Okay. Oh, I think she said black root. The jug.
fireplace? the ritual ingredients in the cupboard ritual in the book source in the fountain <laughs> go okay ah, I know the book isn't it this one the ritual okay. ingredients in the cupboard ritual in the book source in the fountain <coughs> go so now it's just the source in the fountain so, oh wait a minute don't i have the source on me so I keep doing it. <laughs> yeah there it is damn it <laughs> that Drop the source. <laughs> Opening the door, idea. you see a select. You explore the.
charge the incinerator. Man, I'm a dingus. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if that did it. Alright. Mission. Drop. Is it going everywhere? Come over here, people. I'm just going to drop it like this. Why does it keep being pushed? Stop being pushed away! Just myself again. No dang clue. Is that on the platform? I have no clue. Ah, there you go. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. As the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul. It's the deepest recess of my soul. But it looks like the Hall of Echoes. That's because maybe it is. In the half light of these starless valleys, you spot a figure you could only describe just as just for singing a, a song self. now. That's so dumb. So nobody can try out karaoke. It looks haggard and weak. <laughs> its very voice, but a feeble echo of your own. My chosen, come, come closer. 
so that you may see me as I truly am. Ask who you, you are. will see when you look me in the eyes. I am right now. The apparition clasps your face in its shaking hands. You suddenly feel your eyes tingle. Everything becomes brighter, sharper. Blacks and whites become glorious bursts of color, then fade back into their accustomed spectrum. Blind eyes shine brightly. Speak the spell yeah. and see. Okay. strange mirror image of yourself. Before you stands the goddess Zolstissa in all her spectral glory. You know me now, don't you? I saved you from drowning. I blessed you, made you powerful. And now I've come to seek some power in return. Your god-woken soul is my last refuge, my last bastion. May as well make the best of what you have to offer. Okay. Saul Stissa nourishes herself from the source that abounds in your presence. You f Ah, yes. Just what I needed. I tell you, dying just doesn't become a god. Okay. Her. What's happening? The void itself is hunting down the gods, leeching us in ways we never thought possible. Do, 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 droplet do. by droplet, we are being drained. I just got copyright claimed. <laughs> oh, it is so dumb that just singing a song now is just like. It's a battle we're losing. That's really and should we dumb. truly lose, all will be cast into oblivion. Ah, I played Elder Scrolls Oblivion. <laughs> I love the NPCs in that game. <laughs> so we're gonna have bit pegged her. Okay, and I see won't stand but for this. There must be a way to save her still. S surmise that by hiding herself soul she's turned you into a target for every void woken in the world I can take all the void woken to save us both as a matter of fact okay, you must then. realize that our fates are now as one just as our souls are now as one we are I that is a confusing way to end that. <laughs> Together we are a force to be reckoned with. We are. But if I, we seek to like survive the Venom onslaught of the void, we stand no chance <laughs> unless Eddie we Brock. become vastly more powerful than we are now. <laughs> that means there is but one place we can go. The well of ascension. The well of ascension see once heard storytellers speak of it as the birthplace of gods it most certainly will be the well of ascension is a lake a pool of pure source in which the powers of the seven lie united we gave them up freely to create the first divine each of us donated half of that which makes us gods to bathe in the lake is to become our chosen. That is where the road to divinity leads, and you must be the first to reach it at all costs. Tell her not to worry. To lose is complete abstract to you. Ask her why it is so important you should win. Surely the, ri the rise of any new divine in is the seven's aim. Wait, hold on. The gods once gave away half of their powers just like that. Okay. 
There you touch upon the very heart of the matter. The void is stronger than ever. A new divine won't be enough. You need to go to the well of ascension. Not to bathe in the source of the seven, but to take it. All, All of, of it. it. Only okay. he who claims everything will be Good everything. Point. The void's doom. This world's liberator. Okay. Um. Let's see, very much like the seven. Time still. Uh. Cause to wonder what will happen to the other gods if you do do this. Huh. That's an interesting one. It's very simple, really. They will either bow to you or be undone. But of course, that is what they are saying to their own god woken as we speak. We both know they won't bow. Just like we both know you will never bow to them. But what if I do? No, Only one kidding. can become a god strong enough to safeguard our world. One at the expense of all others. Okay. So make no mistake, my champion. Chances are the road to divinity will be paved with dead gods. Their blood on your murderous hands. But don't let that dismay you. For these sins will be washed clean by the knowledge you committed them to save all of existence. To save your Sorry kin about that. and your loved ones and the world they live in. And what about the other races? They will be at your mercy. Which is vastly preferable to you being at theirs. Wouldn't you agree? So fret Can't not, argue with but that, revel but... in the promise of the lake. I will lead you there when you're ready. Why? When you become a true master of the source and speak the language of creation itself. Okay. Our journey will be fraught with Brown, you. Aren't you It is a pilgrimage of challenges master. that will require you to command source like only a god woken can. And wield its most powerful spells. Mission. Laughter rolls and echoes into infinity. Well then. You are quite formidable, my chosen. But you underestimate just how much more formidable you could be. Okay. We Sorry that this is moving along now. slowly and there's a lot of expedition, the obviously. But... That's what a ready. lot of these games kind of do. You must learn to channel the source <laughs> There's in eternity in the hall. That is why you need to seek exposition. You must make them teach you so that you may become exposition master dumped the game. <laughs> so, return to Rivalon and seek out these sages where they dwell. Convince them to share with you their deep-seated bond with the source. That cuts my phone. <laughs> Once you have, you may return to me here. What it is she did to your eyes exactly. Okay. Once Something that will make you understand that for a god, there is precious little difference between the living and the dead. Okay. Source is. It is a constant. A subject of neither time nor transience. All of life is source, and in source it is. Immortally so. Okay. You have the vision of a god now. Eyes that can see spirits. The souls of the dead made manifest in source. Speak the spell during your peregrinations, oh, and you will see them. Where the dead lie. I've already the dead asked that linger. one. Best of luck, my champion. Okay. Thank yous. Now what? How do I leave? Oh, is this it?
The Meister stares intently at you. Her eyes are tired and bruised, but determined. Still alive? Gods above, there might be something to you after all. She leans in, her bloody tongue flickering hungrily about your face. Ah, don't eat me. Tell me, what did you see? What do you know? Ignore the burning in your lungs and quickly explain what happened. Your god hiding within you. Your god hiding within you. Your new power and the masters of source. Wave away your questions and cough that scarring green smoke out of your system. She oh, sighs impatiently mean. as you hack up the last of the green smoke. You can't Don't be impatient. Gods be damned. Why couldn't you have a nice simple problem? Finding an orc to dance the hornpipe, perhaps. Look at her in surprise. She doesn't know what you need to do next. Brush off her concerns. You can do anything. Well done. I know exactly what must be done. You must find a master of source. And I could have helped okay. you once, but no longer. The purging which the Magisters included as part of their service. This love trigger is starting to go, efficient. by the way. It's really they stripped me being of my garbage. Source. I'm having a tough time in Sekiro because I had to switch the controls for the grappling hook to something not else. Not enough to silence me, but enough that I would not turn their insides to lime. I hope you're enjoying this nonetheless. If you're somebody for like conversation type of Games enough to sever videos. my link to the font from which all sources flows. Maybe you'll like this. And certainly enough that I cannot train. But if you want more tables. action, whoops. Alas, the um, only source masters not yet hauled off to Fort Joy or turned into At least there was the beginning part. Too dangerous or cunning <laughs> no, for the um, to contain. I'll try and get more action going on, more art of the RPG combat. Sorcerers that allowed their power to corrupt them. Now this game is no Many for. are wicked, cruel, vile, and generally not good teacher material. But we may have no others to turn to. Really telling you that you need to go and train under an evil sorceress. It sounds dangerous, but if that's what it takes, rub your hands together. Now this sounds like fun. Okay, so an evil sorceress sounds like fun. Nice Ow, my you. leg. There is only so much you can glean from a twisted mind. Okay. However, it is the path we walk. No, <coughs> no matter what the cost, no matter <sighs> what is asked of you. The Meister okay. doubles over in a violent coughing fit, struggling for breath. After a few moments, she regains her composure, wiping a thin smear of blood from the corner of her mouth. No matter what is asked of you, you must learn from them. She doesn't seem well. And you do not seem to be paying attention. Sorcerers, evil, controlling your soul, saving Rivalon, please. <laughs> please tell me at least some of this rings a bell. Your focus, your only focus, must be on finding these ma The Magisters have kept ledgers with all known sorcerers. Oh, what the heck? Especially the powerful ones not yet captured. They would be an invaluable resource. Her voice changed. But do be careful not to get caught. I was their <coughs> guest for a time. And I promise you the gallows was the most comfortable part of the experience. And if their okay. barracks turns out to be as empty as their skulls, just try to keep an ear to the ground. There may still be powerful sources hiding now. in these lands. Except for the occasional cause. As she speaks, one of her wounds reopens, a dark red stain spreading across her tunic. She hisses in frustration and starts to bind the gash. I wish there was more I could do, but in this condition, I would be more a hindrance than a boon. Godspeed, and remember, do whatever it takes. You'll be back as soon as possible. I'll and take your leave. Thank her for generously passing this death-defying mission on you, to you and leave. <laughs> I'll just say the middle, I'm not going to be that way. <laughs> Wait, what? You have a mission? 
The squirrel seems to be flicking through various scraps of paper, humming and hawing as he goes. After some time, he throws the scraps to the wind and spurs on his cat. Huh. Interesting. Wait, what? What the crud? Okay, why did the others stinkin'? of destinies. Constantly, I just need to look around. Hello. The spirit of an elegant elven woman materializes before you. She seems surprised. You, Hi. You can see me. A god woken in my presence. You, I am the Meister's apprentice. Oops, I'm sorry. I study under her, I keep doing but that. I do not learn. I hear tales of the ritual, of what lies beyond. Such wonders, such powers. I decide to pursue them myself. Meister tells me it cannot happen, that I am not Godwoken, but in my heart, I know I am special. I try, I burn the root, I breathe the smoke, and it burns me back. Oh, that's what you died of. No air fills my lungs, only fire. Wait, does that mean when that? When the darkness falls, I cannot Magister's cry out. Magister's a murderer. I leave my life behind with a shameful whimper. She risked such a thing if she was aware of the dangers. The spirit looks at you regretfully. It is hard to hear of such power and not covet it for yourself. I lie to myself and convince myself that I am special. But I am not special. I am dead. <gasps> The Meister sits slumped in her chair. You notice that some of her scales have dropped to the floor. Achoo! <coughs> Jeez! Crying what out loud, I should have sticken. Can you channel enough source? Are you powerful enough to proceed? Of course, my supply has rather gone up in smoke. Okay. You can find more in the cloister woods to the northwest of Driftwood. Hard to get a charming place, but it grows nowhere else. Then why, pray tell, are you wasting both my time and your own? Go! Okay. I was trying to see if you could do anything about the goats. Okay. Alright. Said there might be a ghost in the lair. <laughs> Thank you. It's a 
explore this town some more. Oh, our quests are nearby. This town looks peaceful enough. Let's find out if it looks to see. Hello. Nelson, my inquiry is right. right away. I'm watching you, stranger. Mentioned that you heard that there's still some powerful source on the loose. That's magister business. Keep your nose out of it. Take your leave. Okay. My career is at stake. Bellwether, I need those reports. Of course, right away. My career is at stake. Hello. Hi. The Magister startles, realizing there's a stranger in his midst. What do you want, lizard? You can't just come in here as you please. There's Manchester's missing. I'm trying to conduct a bloody investigation. your bloody step in future. I've an investigation to carry out, and I don't need any more distractions. So he ought to be out there leading it in person. I'm not some foot soldier, you clod. I can't put myself at risk. We've lost three of our number to this hig of a fiend so far. I won't move from here until he's in a cell or in a box. Mark that... Some sort to have bested magisters by himself. Wonder what makes him sure that he has the right suspect. Ask if there is a reward for catching the fugitive. Catching, killing, I don't care. There'll be gold for whoever puts an end to this rat. If you see anything, tell me or my men at once. Otherwise, keep the hell out of our way. Well, do you know anything? Stop wasting my time then. <laughs> All right. Nelson, my inkwell is dry. Fetch me some more. Right All right, we'll get another stinking quest. Uh. Please, you there. Did you ask me? Time is it? Where is my phone? Ugh, seriously, where the crud did it go? Thought I had it around here. There it is. Okay. Time it be. Alright. Uh. I'll stop there. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Could you help me? Uh, s sorry there was so much talking once again. I hope this was fine enough, though. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye!